Hey, what's up guys, it's Zero here, and welcome back to my channel on the Octavine Evolved. In this series, I'm planning to solo my way through the arc and all the DLCs before Arc 2 is released later next year. So yes guys, we're into episode 2 of season 1. Um, we've progressed quite a lot in, in such a short period of time, really. We've already got our, our, our shack built up, um, we've already tamed two trikes. Uh, one was a level 125. We've died a couple of times, two tricks, which again was a bit embarrassing, um, but very funny at the same time. Um, we also tamed up a th uh, three uh, mochops in the last episode as well. Again, that was a surprise. Uh, there was a lot uh, of luck there in terms of what they were asking for. None of them were asking for anything too crazy like cooked prime fish meat or rare flowers, things like that, there that are uh, difficult to get. Um, especially this early in the game, so I was lucky to get all three of them pretty much as looking berries, which is which is perfect. So, in this episode, we're just going to be gathering up resources, gathering up narcotic or knuckle berries, and wood thatch, uh, smashing up some stone, because we're pro I'm pro planning to progress the the base, um, a bit further than we already have, and not that we overly need it because there's not many, um aggressive dinosaurs around here but I just don't like having a thatch building with all my stuff that can be wiped out. If a titanosaur or a bronto was to randomly um, arrive over here and something was to aggro it, they basically get wiped out very very quickly. I think the titanosaur was still wiped out the base regardless, it was made of stone but um, definitely the bronto, There's a, there was one across the water out of there um, and I have seen a few um, in the trees behind us. Uh, in different playthroughs, um, wander over this direction, so better not risk it. So, yeah, I'm just gonna spoil up as much as I can, get, gather as my knock as, as soon as possible, and then start leveling ourselves up. We're looking to get to stone um, walls and slope things to get there, so um, I'm just one level away there. So, um, what's going on there? Mo! <laughs> what? What the hell's going on? Um. Yeah, Mo. He, he must have been on aggressive, although it doesn't look like it. Not too sure what's going on. I've never seen anything attack a Trondon. Um, or none of my dinos have ever tra attacked a, a Trondon on their own, and the Trondons have been attack it. So I'm not too sure as to what happened there. Uh, he must have been on aggressive. It's something I can think of. But yeah, so what was I saying there? Um, crazy mo. Um, yeah, so the, the our building, our, our walls, and our levels. So we're only one or two levels away from where we need to be, really, in terms of being able to craft all of our building uh, materials. I am going to start getting up more stone. We do have access to crossbows, I see. Yes, we do. Um, we are one level away from where, where I need to be, and there's the the medium crop plot. Which is something I'm planning to utilize in this episode as well. Start getting, start getting some crops up and running. Um, probably not any uh, crystal uh, or any sort of greenhouse glass because we can't get crystal anywhere near here. Uh, not without a flare at least, um, or a really long trip with with, with the trike. But yeah, I'm just gonna try to level ourselves up here. Um, one more level, and there we go. That's it now. So we're now able to craft uh, or learn the engrams for all the building materials that we need. So that's good. So we'll learn slope walls. Um, and then that's really it. In terms of the base, oh, I have to learn the, 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 the superstructures version of it. In terms of the base and the style of the base, um, we are going for stone walls, stone foundations. Bit of wood in there as well and some thatch for the roof. I think that uh, looks quite cool. Um, I like to use as many materials as, as possible to try to mix mix up a little bit. I don't like using metal um, that often. I like the metal railings and the metal stairs and things like that there, so they will be incorporated at some stage in our later um, in our later base once we actually get to our our, our main base. So yeah, we're leveling up quite quickly here, guys. We're on 27 with so there's 29 now. Um, and yeah, so we, we are progressing quite quickly. 
Um, and so I got a bit more uh, thatch here, um, a bit more wood. The the trig is good at gathering the thatch. Um, it's okay at gathering wood. Definitely gather more thatch than, than wood we'll do. Um, what I do need is one of those um, moose, the megaloras, megaloras. I can't say I can't say the word. The the the, the guys that make horns, the deer. Um, and they get those um, when I was tamed up, but for that there I need to be heading towards the redwoods and we're definitely not in the, the right um, level to be going anywhere near there. Not, not anytime soon anyway. So we are, we are also actually the level where we can craft hide armour, so that's what I'm going to be doing um, as well. Uh, sometimes it's really cold over here, other times it's really hot, so I need to be careful in terms of what armour we're wearing. Uh, cloth in the most part is working well, but sometimes the water when I'm, when I'm smashing up the, the the river rocks is ice cold, and I nearly died actually earlier on. Um, while well, I was in the water, I wasn't really paying too much attention. I ran out of stamina, and that my leg was broke, so I was lucky to, that that I didn't die. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna get the metal, get the flint and some rock berries um, off of Sarah here, put those into the the refining forge and the mortar and pestle and then I'm going to also craft up a crossbow or R2 um, crossbows so that um, if we do run into any trouble that we have enough firepower to to get to get us out of it essentially so we also will need to craft up a lot of the the arrows and the the drank arrows as well so we have enough metal now for at least two. I have enough for, for, for a few now, so we've got two as well. So, the other thing actually with S plus guys, our structure, superstructure is the one I'm using, um, is you can craft a crafting station so that you can actually put all the building or sorry, yeah, all the building materials into the the crafting station, and then instead of all the materials being on me and um, slow me down when I'm running around. I actually crafts them for you um so you can you can set set to run and craft say 40 walls and then run around and do your own what you wanted to do and come back and pick up the walls so you don't need to actually have them in your inventory and slowing you down which is which is great so i'll definitely be utilizing that there um once we get that there stage of uh, of our building so But yeah, guys, so it's a, it's not the most exciting episode, um, but it's a needed episode. Everyone has to have their base. These are all the things that everyone does at the start of the game. They level up as quick as they can. Um, I'm just like I say, I'm just learning to learn up the the hide armor here now to get that get that there um, uh, uh, crafted as well. Um, but yeah, so like I said, it's not the most exciting episode. Um, we're ever gonna have, but it's a it's a necessary one. I've also been starting to think about base locations as well. Um, once we do get to a stage where we can get a tram on, um, a decent level tram on, I am planning to visit a few different locations and decide where to actually have our base. I had initially been thinking more towards the Green Obelisk. Um, because it is almost it's what's well, this right of center, I suppose. Um, but the only, the only issue we have with the uh, Green Obelisk is we're not really anywhere near um, the ocean. Now I can have a ocean base um, and then a my normal base. So technically, this base here could almost be um, classed as the ocean base because we do have access to the river here. But that's as we go on past the Red Obelisk over there, you are out into the open open water. Uh, the the bee puddle uh, of water beside us is actually deep enough to uh, breed things like the bacillosaurus and I'd imagine megalodons as well in there. Um, not that I've ever tried to do that, but it's definitely big enough for the 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 passes. Um, but I don't know. I think we either have different shacks around around the island, um, depending on. What we want to do, we could have a megatherium army if we're, if we're going that route um, over towards Green Obelisk for that boss. I think it's the the big spider. I come up with the name of it actually. Um, uh, God, it's, it's escaped me. 
Um, but yes, we, we could have different um, areas in the map with different armies to the different bosses, to say it that way. Or we can sort of have the the bosses or the our base all one massive uh, massive base. So that's the crafting station that was that I mentioned in terms of um, being able to craft. It's all S plus stuff. Um, so I was gonna play in all the all the wood, all the stone, thatch, and get that um, put into this here and start building up our walls. But yeah, I'm thinking. I'm starting to think what we're gonna be doing going going forward. Um, we have progressed very quickly. I'm not thinking anywhere near bosses whatsoever. But I'm just starting to thinking where we're gonna put our base and do we do it that way in terms of get this actually gum up here a bit. But dark first we recording. Although it's still a bit glaring, I'm actually just use my, my torch, I think it might be a better option. Um, yeah, I'll so, well, take the gum off and I'll use a torch. Oh, perfect. Um, but yeah, no, so they were looking at, I'm looking, I'm thinking about the different base locations that we have. Uh, some of them are quite good. Uh, I've built them some before, some I've never built them, but I've always wanted to. But I'm just trying to think what would be the best uh, for, for this playthrough, really. So, um, because I am single player um, or solo, and I'm not in my tribe, I'm and on single player, but it works not actually on a server. Um, time is, is, is real, <laughs> it's real time, it's not sort of it plays in the background. and things craft up or things smelt and, and uh, in the background while I'm sleeping um, so I need to maybe make sure that in terms of our time or my time playing the game it's spent to be, be as, as, as sufficient as possible so you guys I've crafted up a lot of the, the building materials I should have enough um, if my math is correct um, and the good thing actually about this here is that I don't have to pick up anything and just sort of replace things as we as we progress so I just need to be careful because sometimes I have made mistakes or I'll put something in the wrong spot and the, the wall fall off or, or break so especially in here where we are in floors and everything gets really messy it's hard to see as you can see the, the green um, highlighted area so it's going to be a little bit careful here but so that's that's how quickly we put the, the foundations in like I say we are just keeping the the same shape and the same base the same size for now anyway we may uh, expand on the base um, a bit further uh, as when we need it although at the same time I don't want to be spending a lot of time updating this base to then move on to another base and say five six or ten episodes down, down the line but we'll see I say I still haven't decided what we're going to do in terms of the of, of, of our bases I might, I might keep the shark here just as a of a, a safe haven uh, if I ever die anywhere near here I don't know I need something I can leave some dinos here that'll get me back to where I need to be or I can have the gravestone um, here as well that um, if I do die I can put all my stuff to it so so yeah I just need to update this the doors open and close and when you run by is very frustrating so I've changed that to just uh, auto close I don't mind opening them uh, but the whole open and closing and walking by will be really annoying after a while um, I'm trying not to set that that's weird um, so yeah with this here I'm going sort of stone or stone wall window wall stone wall window wall I'm trying to keep it a bit, a bit symmetric sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't um, sometimes you have to end up having two windows beside each other or two walls beside each other so it depends on how many foundations I have across and the doors as well, um, and some other people funny. So I think we probably are gonna have a bit of an issue with it with, with the doors. I think you have to have a solid wall, um, not the window walls there. So we'll see. I'll test it out anyway and see if we can get through without having any problems. So yeah, we're not going to. I said I don't need too many walls. Um, stone walls anyway. They we need a bit more wood walls than we do stone. Um, as we as we. Are the building is, is taller than it is sort of wide um, so we should be able to get this here we should have enough to craft everything uh, without having any, any real problems uh, if not well, we can't get that way really quite easily um, so. right, 
see this is where I have so it's a stone wall window. Oh, that's fine, I was that's fine. I thought I was putting another window wall, I got confused there. So put it in. Should be okay here actually. I'll put them in there. So yeah, you can already see the actual light coming in, guys, with the the windows in the in the in the base. So we got a bit of sunlight coming in, um, which is which is great. Um, so put this wall on the wall side, I think. I'm gonna get a demo gun and put it there. Oh. Solid wall. Oh. What have I done that for? Oh. I made a bit of a mistake here, but it doesn't matter. Um, okay, get that up there. Yep. That always happens. It's so frustrating. Make sure I get that slow wall. Yep. Put that away and put it back in again. So come on. Yep. Yeah. yeah, guys, I like this. I do like this shape actually to the base in terms of it's not just a square box. We do have sort of different textures and different sort of angles and things out there. So. It's not just a square box, it's a little bit more interesting. It's by no means a special base. Um, it's not a huge amount of time to run into it, to be honest. I'll just, I'll just sort of put it together without thinking too much. I just knew that I'm on a square box, I wanted the sloped roofs. So, so I'm having a bit of trouble here uh, lining up with the, with the wall with the, the thatch ones being there. So, this should make things a bit easier. I was half expecting the roof to come down there. To be honest, so that wall was from a wall now to change. I just need a window wall. I need to craft that. Oh, no, I don't want that wall. So I just need to craft a window wall for that top part. And then that's the, the structure of the base updated then. So we'll go here and see what it looks like. Pet a dog. Right, so get a drink of water. I'm happy with that guys, I think it looks, think it looks well, it's definitely much better than having the, just the thatch, um, the double doors also is quite handy, um, we should be able to bring the dog in here when everything needs to be, um, I'm going to craft up this here as well, the observing bin, so we can get some uh, jerky um, cooked up as well, again as I said with the, the fact that we're on solo, it takes a long time for that to to craft up so I'm going to start getting um, jerky made I do want prime meat jerky uh, again that's another part of the kibble um, requirement is it's prime meat jerky so I'll need to start looking to find some prime meat um, but for that there I need better dinos than what I have unless we're going after I don't know say a very low level um, Theracena or maybe a Diplo or something along those lines nothing that's going to overly worry us our trike should be able to handle so I need spark powder and I need oil. So spark powder is just flint and stone. Uh, made that in the mortar and pestle. We should be able to get that. Uh, let's see. Uh, put the stone in. Should need too much, maybe five or six hundred uh, for that amount of um, amount of uh, flint. Oh, then our spark powder. So, if it's strange one, spark powder is always something I'm, I always run low on um, early in the game. It's very much needed for for bullets and things out there as well. So, again, having that crafted uh, now is again going to be useful for, for later in the game. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna um, start. I've just got a little bit more wood. I'm I'm gonna put crop plots down. Um, I did actually learn get a crop plot from a uh, drop, uh, a loot drop, but that we. I think as you had seen trend on the mo tech earlier on. Um, I am going to put down some foundations, nothing major, just maybe four uh, extra foundations. I'll put the crop plots on them with the um, the water pipes and things out there and start getting some crop plots, uh, some crops growing. It's going to take an age as well. Um, I do need to get some crystal to make greenhouse, greenhouse walls. But we're, we're, we're a good bit away from that there, so I don't want to be waiting until we move base to do that there, because like it will take a while to grow. Even with the greenhouse, it does take a, a, a couple of hours for it to, to grow. So, I think four foundations is enough, uh, and then four crop plots, one for each of the, the vegetables, so the, the lemons, the corn, the carrots, and the potatoes. So, I, like I say, I, I did get a... a a crop plot loot, uh, blueprint, but because it's just standard, I want to use the uh, S plus version of it because you'll have to put more things into it more, um, more fertilizer and um, more. Uh, well, nothing doesn't, doesn't even matter. My seeds, I suppose, it's, it's, more, it's more fertilizer and more fertilizer uh, that I can pick up from the, the excess of the, the the better, really. Um, I foresee that I'm going to be picking up poo for, for quite a while um, with all these crop plots, but it is what you need to do. I do maybe, I don't want to set it here. It's in the shade, no, I think we're on the other side, it's a bit sunnier. Um, if you are putting greenhouse glass in, I would imagine how it needs to be in the sun. Um, I do need to get one of those the Fiumias, ones that literally just, all they do is poo. Um, for fertilizer, and then look at maybe getting a dung beetle um, soon as well. Once we're in that stage to go into the caves to get them at least. So I could pull the water pipes up as well. That'll be handy for getting drinks without having to run to the, the water or run to the, the river every single time. So probably should put these in the actual base to be honest. So it doesn't really matter where I put this here because it's say the I have the and I valves changed so that we. Um, get water regardless of where we put the pipe down. So let's see for this. I don't know if I want this here because I might, I might get a vertical pipe up actually and then use the, use the cross pipe as well. Let's see how this is going to look. I just want to make sure all of the crop plots um, are irrigated. Don't have any problems with maybe three of them being irrigated and one of them not being irrigated. So give me an extra top as well maybe. Okay, let's see. Gonna need to move that track keep running in. Yeah, should put that there and then we'll get the cross. That should hopefully bridge out across the all four of us should definitely irrigate it. So put one here. Um irrigated, not irrigated, irrigated. We can irrigate oh no yeah, no uh, irrigated and irrigated. Yeah, I'll put one here anyway just to just to have I suppose. Oh maybe. Why is that snap? Oh, maybe I can't snap them. I'll set the back one instead then. So, uh, there we drink. So, I'll have to move you and pick up your poop. Let's keep that going, dude. You have any poop for me? No. Oh, you do have poop. I've been putting poop, poop in you. That's right, I forgot about that there. So, yeah, I've been put the poop in to Mo. <laughs> simply for, because it lasts a bit longer and on him I think anyway I'm, I'm basing it on the same length of time of food spoiling and things out there um, but definitely sitting there on the ground it, 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 it spoils a lot quicker um, so some seeds out of the doggo um, I think is that, yeah that's a four to four now so I'm going to want each and start putting the, um, the fertilizer in as well yeah, guys, like I said, it's been a 
maybe not the most exciting episode, but so we've got a lot done today. We've up, updated the base. We have leveled ourselves up a lot. We now have crossbows, um, crossbow capabilities. Uh, we have crop plots down that we are about to put in our fertilizer to get those growing. Um, we've leveled up our trikes. Um, we have hide armor um, now. We have metal smelting up. Uh, I also have a reserving bin set up as well for um, jerky. And there's also it's set up as a fridge as well. So any actual meat and vegetables and the likes I can put in there that last a bit longer than I will do on, on my person and on the, the dinos as well. So yeah, there's been a lot of, a lot of things done um, for a, a short episode. It's only going to be maybe about 20, 20 minutes long, 25 minutes long, at the absolute max, I think. Um, but yeah, so I have leveled up, I'm at level 45 now, so we've, we've passed the level for Dragon so I had anticipated once I got to level 37 that I would just go out and look for um, the Dragons but I'd say we've, we've leveled up a lot quicker than, than I imagined, and they want to be splitting the episode up from a building um, to a taming episode. I think we'll go after Trandons in, in the next episode. So, but yeah guys, so if you have liked it, uh, like this video, I would appreciate it if you could like, like it, uh, if you can comment, see what you think of the base, let me know um, what you think of the series so far, and if you could subscribe, that would be, that would be awesome. Uh, in terms of releasing videos, I am going to try to release maybe two a week. Uh, I want to at least initially. Um, but yes, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys.